Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and you asked for it, so here it is. A lot of people were complaining about my, finger quotes, Siri voice we used in this video before. There's a lot of reasons why we use that uh, computer voice, and let's not get into it right now. Those of you who know me, well, you know why we use the voice. All right, so let's get down to business. My name is Beanmeister22. I've been on YouTube more than 10 years, and I used to have a really big channel. Now I have a really small channel, and that's important for this video. I make a lot of different kind of videos. I make travel videos. I spend a lot of time in Hawaii. I make toy review videos and then various other videos. Well, that's how my channel started. Then a couple years ago, I bought a very large toy collection online from Southern California, and when I opened the thing up, well... I found some evidence of spider webs inside the box, but I didn't find any actual spiders. And then within a few weeks, I started finding black widows around inside my house. Now, black widows don't live in my area. They, they, they're not from here. So as far as we can reckon that there was a black widow or an egg sack or something inside that large toy collection, I'm not saying they put it in there because, you know, people store toy collections and storage units and attics and basements before they sell them online. So for the next couple of years, I started finding horrible, I mean, I hate spiders and black widows, but I started finding them all over the house. Sometimes we'd find a dozen spiders in a day. So we started making videos about it. Now, if you remember my old channel, we used to do a lot of giveaways of toys. I'd review the toys and then I'd give them away. I don't need them anymore, unless it's something really cool I want to keep, right? So my address was there on the website, and a lot of people had my address because they received things from me. And putting your address on the internet is like putting pee in a swimming pool. If there's pee in that pool, it's never coming out. You can't drain the whole pool. You're not going to drain the internet. And this is very important because then I started getting suggestions from people. Now, some were good suggestions, some were outlandish, and some were just things I'd never heard of. You know, I don't know if they're good or bad. People said, you should use praying mantises to get rid of the black widows as a natural form of pest control. They'll do that. Well, that made sense, and I made a couple of videos about it. You know, it didn't work, and I started raising praying mantises. Yes, you can buy egg cases online and hatch your own. It's, it's pretty cool. Then I started receiving weird things in the mail. People would leave comments on the video saying, how about put a scorpion loose in your house or a centipede? I'm thinking, yeah, okay. Well, when scorpions and centipedes started arriving in the mail, man, I had to take my address down really quick. I would get a unmarked package. It wouldn't say, hey, there's a bug in here. I'd open it up and there might be a note there that says, hey, before you open that inner thing, there's a scorpion in there. I get that. Or... There might be a polite note saying, hey, I hope this helps, you know, somebody trying to do something good. Or the worst was when you'd open the package up and it didn't say anything. Then you open the other package and then there was a, oh, something live, a scorpion or a centipede. Oh, I'm not going to make that mistake again. So in the mail, we have received multiple scorpions. Some I have been able to identify. Some the viewers have been able to identify. And some we really aren't sure what they are. We have gotten several different kinds of centipedes. Two morons sent us snakes, two different times, snakes. One came from the Midwest, another from the East Coast, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same person, though there was no return address. So in order to make lemonade out of lemons, or are we making lemons out of lemonade? I'm really not sure. I have an overabundance of black widow spiders, as I've mentioned. We started testing out these thoughts and theories about, okay, let's put a black widow in with a scorpion. Let's see if the scorpion eats it. Let's put a black widow in with a centipede. Let's see if the centipede eats it. Will I turn these things loose in my house? Years ago, I used to live in Japan, and we used to catch small house geckos, and you turn them loose in your house, and they would eat bugs and cockroaches, and then you wouldn't see any bugs and cockroaches. Every once in a while, you might see that little lizard scamper across the ceiling, but other than that, you didn't see them for weeks or months at a time. And in many regions, small lizards like that are an amazing chemical-free way of pest control. No poisons, no chemicals, bam, it's nature. We did some research and we found out the northern alligator lizard will eat black widows. I mean, I guess all lizards will eat black widows, but the northern alligator lizard has some kind of enzyme in its stomach or in its mouth that will neutralize the toxins of the black widow's venom. So we got a northern alligator lizard, we set it loose in the house, left it little food, left it some water, took off to Hawaii for a while, came back, and we never saw the thing again. We figured the black widows must have got him, or he escaped, or, or who knows.
well, it wouldn't escape. Everything's plugged up tighter than, you know, a submarine. Because that was the first thing we did. We made sure there was no other bugs for the Black Widows to eat. We made sure all the routes of ingress and egress were plugged. I mean, this thing is sealed up tight. When you close the front door, you can feel the air. Yeah, it's, it's a pain, pain in the butt. Sorry, I almost said the, you know. Anyways, it wasn't until about six months later we found the dried carcass of that alligator lizard in a closet. He probably, you know, he can eat a black widow and the venom will be neutralized in its mouth or stomach, but he can still die from getting stung by a black widow, and we think that's what happened. So over the last few years, did a lot of research on black widows. I had never really seen one in real life. Now I see them in real life all the time. I capture them, I make videos about them, and I find different ways to eliminate them. No, you can't stick a black widow outside. That will harm the local ecosystem. Not only is it dangerous for the local bugs and critters here, if you start putting venomous non-native bugs or creatures outside, it's also against the law. So you can't just take them and put them outside. Now here's the scary part. A black widow doesn't need a food source. That's right, there doesn't have to be any bugs or anything for a black widow to eat. A black widow will just start laying egg sacs, and it's amazing how quickly they can do that. We've shown videos of it. And then when the spiderlings hatch, they will just eat those spiderlings. They will just keep making their own food. It's circle of life, right? It's a vicious cycle. Now, several times we have thought we have gotten rid of the problem. During the wintertime, we almost find none. During the summertime, when it heats up, we find quite a few. We have paid two different exterminators to take care of the problem. They have tried two different methods. It didn't work. So, yeah, that's the problem. We have black widows. We have learned to live with them. But what you do is you hunt them down, and you capture them, and you eliminate them. That's how you live with black widows. And, yes, every house has spiders. Spiders live with humans. That's just nature. But the problem is, black widows, you introduce something that doesn't belong here, it starts killing out the natural spiders that live in your house and protect you. And we've learned quite a bit about that too, and I'll share that with you in another video. Alright, so, this is what you guys wanted. You didn't want to hear the robot voice. These videos are for educational purposes. I hope you learned something from this. Nature has no mercy. And that's that sad truth that those weird people, and I'm saying weird people, who go to the zoo and jump into the bear cage or the tiger pit or go down to SeaWorld and jump in with the orcas. Oh, there I see them on TV. And then they get et or they get squished or they get drowned or they get crushed. Because nature isn't Disney cartoons. It's not Jungle Book. It's probably closer to Pokemon, right? Or, anyways, so I'll leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, if you have any suggestions... Feel free to leave them in the comment section, and don't send me any weird stuff. My address isn't on the my YouTube channel anymore, but still, my address is out there. Don't send me any weird stuff. Leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>